Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here. Welcome back to some more Brunswick Pro Bowling. In the last episode, episode, uh, we had a pretty dominating match last match. Uh, last person, a lot of good spares, I gotta give credit. Very consistent with spares, but not enough to beat me. But today, we actually have a new opponent, I believe. Flahardy. I don't think we've ever gone up against this person before. So we'll have a new opponent. So that's really good. Let's see how good they are. Let's play a match. I'm actually pretty a little excited for this one. A little bit. Let's see. Let's see who we going up against here. Well, uh, we got to mute more because, of course, YouTube. I don't know why I don't like this game. Um, not this, well, this music. Ah, uh, new opponent, Jim Flaherty. Okay, Jim Flaherty. Let's see how good you, you are. Let's see if you can go up against the might of player, one of the most dominating Brunswick Pro Bowling bowlers of all time, starting off with a strike. There we go. But what's better than its commanding first strike? You may ask, let me answer you. What's better than one strike is a ringing 10 pin, apparently. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Listen, Brunswick Pro Bowling, I get it. I know I scored a lot of perfect games early on. Why can't I score anymore? Like, come on now. <laughs> Have I hit my quota? Okay, got a spare tire here. Now our first look at Jim Flaherty sporting the red cap. And I think he has the groove urethane. That is the groove urethane. And unfortunately does not know how to use it very well. But yeah, that's definitely the groove urethane he's using. So he's definitely going to be playing very straight. Very, very straight. All right, good shot though. Good spare, good spare. All right, let's see how what he does to readjust. All right, he's up third arrow. Oh, he might be slightly inside, which is why he's going high, because even on third arrow, it should be striking. Okay, we can turn muting off. Okay, but yeah, use the Groovier thing. He's, hey, he's being consistent too, just like our last opponent. Good job. All right. Let's see here. Let's do that. Let's continue on with our dominance player. So, as you know, with Groove Urethane, there we go. Um, as I've said many times, it pushes oil down the lane. This does not absorb oil. So, let's got to keep that in mind. Hopefully, it does not mess up my game too much. It is possible. Highly unlikely. When he gets shots like that. <gasps> Just ending the four pin. Jeez. That was violent. Jim Flahardy. Working on his spare. Let's see what he can do to try to get some um, strikes going on here. Okay. So. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. He is. I don't know why. He, he literally needs to go like maybe like a board to the right and he'll be just fine because <laughs> he's going high where he is which would make me think if he just goes like a board or two to the right he'll hit the pocket now if he does if he will ever realize that that's a very good question that i think has already been answered um <laughs> no uh he is getting his spares though all right, fifth frame. Flahardy is the spare master. I am the strike master. Who will be more dominant? Uh, <laughs> I mean, ultimately me, but this is looking weird. <laughs> Come on, player. What is going on? Where are my consistent strikes? We're peppering spares throughout this game. And the score is not looking great. 
Not looking great. We gotta keep going. If Lahardy um, learns how to use his bowling ball, we might actually be in some trouble. Alright, good shot there. Jim Flaherty, fifth frame. Let's see if he can figure this out. Oh, you got to be joking. <laughs> oh, he is already done. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Had to help with something. Alright, let's finish this game off because I only got a few more minutes until I can to have to go to work, so. Let's try to get this game going. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Frame. Do some speed bowling. Going to get the strikes or whatever shots we get. <laughs> there we go. A nice strike by player. All right, Jim. Jim, working on a strike. Does not capitalize. All he can do is get his spare. And he gets it. Yeah, this is going to be a very low scoring game. <laughs> kind of pitiful. Oh, that was weak. That looked fine. Like, path-wise, but it was a weak ball. So, I don't know. See, he losing the energy or something? Also, if you notice something, we haven't gotten fatigued in a while. I don't know if the tournament just can't get fatigued because it's, I don't know, one match each or something like that. But no more fatigue for us. We've got enough stamina to bowl for hours. Oh, are serious? Yeah, I just missed the kingpin. Like, the ball went like, right in front of it. I mean, not the ball, well, the pins did. I don't know why. All right. Tenth frame. Let's go. Speed bowling time. There we go. The literal excess. I have to leave it about like five or so minutes. I'll make it though. It takes you 20 minutes to get to my job. I start work at 11. It's nearly 10:30. <laughs> I'll be fine. Let's see if we can get three in the tenth. Ah, oh, we're doing pretty good looking at that. Alright, one more. Oh, that's a bit too much spin. <laughs> Let's go max spin. <laughs> yeah, if I was going that, like, first arrow. There we go. That's how you end it off. End off with a turkey. 238, not bad, Jim Flaherty. You tried. He didn't fully succeed. But he got a strike. That's all he needs. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm I used to be a poet. Alright, look at that. Just needs a couple more, get a turkey and a tenth. Nice high flush. Why did he do that earlier? <laughs> he actually might have been a threat. <laughs> oh, almost had that one. But alas, it was not meant to be. Congratulations, you won. With a score of 238 to 201. Not bad game by Jim Flaherty. Not a bad game. 
All right, it's mute. All right, that done. Next time on Brunswick Pro Bowling, we're at the semis. For it's been a while since we've been there. Going up against Lopez. If we win, we go up against Farmer or Swan. So it's been me, the Nintendo Swing Man, signing off, and I'll see you guys at the semis. See you later.